Today, I'm going to be showing you the unbelievable capacity of my tiny everyday carry pocket kit. As a bonus, I'm also going to be showing you a few customization options you can try to help your EDC kit build a theme. You may remember my last EDC review video in which we reviewed this Maxpedition Micro Pocket Organizer. Well, if this thing is micro, then this one is absolutely nano because this is about half the size. What you're looking at here is the Gentle Stash Pocket Organizer and this thing is tiny. As you see here, I have no problems at all fitting it in and out of my pocket. I've chosen to go with this awesome red and black colorway which matches my watch. And as you'll see, that's what I've themed the contents of this kit around as well. Now, it does also have pocket storage. It's got one big one on the front and one and two on the back. But as you can see, I haven't really been using these for EDC gear because I want to keep this as thin as possible. But check this out. There's also a really cool skull bead included attached to the zipper pull of your EDC pouch. As we pull this skull zipper and dive in, I want you to know that everything we go through today will be linked in the description below if you want to get your hands on it. So smash that like button and let's get into the content. Everything you're about to see here has been meticulously chosen to be as microscopic as possible so that I can get the most value for my space and fit it into one single pocket easily. The first thing we're looking at is this mini titanium tape measure and this thing is absolutely microscopic. And the reason we're looking at it first is because I want to measure this kit for you and show you the dimensions of how small it really is. So let's go from left to right. As you see, we have about three and a half inches. And from top to bottom, you're looking at about four and a quarter to four and a half inches. Next, we have this mini hex bit screwdriver, which takes quarter inch size bits. And I carry a single bit, which is double sided, so I can alternate between Phillips and flathead as needed. Being a key ring is excellent because I can use this to give myself extra leverage during use. Behind that, I have this Night X cleaning cloth, which is great if you are a glasses wearer to have on you at all times. Behind that, I carry this mini notepad, which is by a brand called Write in the Rain. And their claim is that you can actually write on this even when it's wet. If you want to see the video where we put that to the test, check it out above. And next to the notepad, I carry this Fisher Bullet Space Pen. And just look at how tiny this thing is. But it expands to a full-sized pen. As with any other Fisher Space Pen, this thing can write in water, upside down, and even through grease. So I'll show you on my right in the rain notepad just how it is to write. In the middle of my pouch, I carry this Kingston USB 3 thumb drive, which I've chosen the model because it is extremely small and also resilient as one single piece of metal. To attach it, I've simply swung this string, which is otherwise on the outside of the pouch, okay, and just converted that into a little bit of extra storage. Next up is the item that inspired me to build this mini EDC kit, and that is the Civivi Elementum Mini. And this thing is incredibly tiny, but incredibly efficient as a little mini pocket knife. I love using this thing to peel my apples and eat them. Super satisfying. Now these next two items are really what tie the whole black and red theme together. And this is my favorite item in the whole kit. It is the Nipex Mini set of pliers. And if you've been into the EDC community for a while, you've probably seen these things before. Some people love them, some people hate them, but personally, I'm a big fan. And that's because I've actually had these come in and save the day once. I was at my parents' house and their tap broke, believe it or not, and I was able to literally whip out my mini EDC kit, whip out these mini Nipex and actually repair the tap on the spot. And I felt like a boss. And here's one of the bonus customization tips for you guys. These two grips are non-standard. Normally this thing is just bare black metal, but I've come up with a way that works perfectly. All you need is a pack of these long party balloons, chop the ends off and add them to both of the handles. And not only have you added yourself some extra grip when using this, but you can now perfectly tie it into your theme with whatever color you choose. And this last item is really what ties everything together perfectly. And that is my i3e EOS.
It is the perfect size for a very small kit like this. It uses a single AAA battery. You can twist it to turn it on. It's very powerful for the size, and I've customized it in two ways to make it fit with the theme. And the first way, as you can see here, is by this really cool red and black lanyard by Schmuckatelli Co. And this has another little skull bead, which I thought tied in perfectly with the zipper pull included on the pouch. And I've actually still held on to the packaging all this time if you want to check it out. And remember guys, I'm leaving a link to everything for you below. The last customization tip I've got for you guys is to use a bit of acrylic paint on your Olight and you really can get it to match any color scheme you want. And what you're going to want to do after acrylic painting this is to use some top coat just to seal it in and make it safe to handle so the paint's not going to wear off. As you can see, the capacity of this Gentle Stash Pocket Organizer truly is unbelievable. Now I know some of these items we've only touched on very briefly, so if there's anything here that you want me to do a deep dive on, just let me know down below and I'd be happy to oblige. And also, let me know your favorite item. I'm really keen to hear if there's anything here that you're interested in. As an EDC enthusiast, I'm leaving you with our Everyday Carry playlist. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss our next EDC review. I'm also leaving you with a video here that I know you're going to want to watch next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next review.